Okay, welcome everyone. Uh, in the last class, uh, we discussed what is commonal, what is commonal literature, and the features of the commonal literature and the post-colonial literature. Everything uh, we have tried to discuss there. At the same time, we have mentioned that uh, why it is called uh, commonal literature, why not it is called the English literature? Though the texts are written in English. Another thing. Uh, we have already mentioned that who are called the uh, uh, commonwealth writers those writers who are under the commonwealth which are the commonwealth after the british rule those countries which got the independence and they have the organization the name of the organization is commonwealth and those countries writer must write literature in english not their own language. Okay? As we have mentioned that Kajinalism, Ramanjana, they are not considered as a common writer. Why not? Because they wrote their writing in Bangla. Whereas Kaiser of Taminana, though they are the Bangladeshis, but they are writing their literature in English. Or Chinu SCB, he was a, he was a Nigerian, but he wrote his writing in English, that's why he is called a commonwealth writer. At the same time, the English people who wrote or who write literature in English, they should not be considered as a commonwealth beyond or except English people. Those people who are trying to write what? Trying to write literature or compose literature in English, they are called a commonwealth literature. Okay? Today, well, uh, uh, we have two sessions. In the first sessions, uh, we'll discuss the features of post-colonialism, and after the second session, uh, in the second session, we'll uh, try to highlight cultural studies because the text which we have chosen in this course. First of all, I have mentioned that is things fall apart. Next. House for, a house for Mr. Vishwas, third one, clear light of the day, and fourth one, the guide. We may not cover the fourth one, but we'll try to cover the first three. All the texts cover major three themes. First one is post-colonialism, second one is cultural studies, third one is feminism. And to some extent, especially in the uh, guide and to clear light of the day, we will get also nationalism, okay? So whenever we'll discuss our text, in that time we'll highlight these things. The pictures, the views, the images tell something else. You have seen that. It's a, a true picture of the colonialism. Here you have seen that the man who represents the white people. At the same time, a whole support, a gun. Here gun means support. The strength of power, the symbol of power. Whereas that man, he represents whom? The third world country, the colonized people, okay? He is a black, he is of what? He has no power, he is not in the center. That's why, what? He is suppressed physically, mentally, economically, uh, religiously, even your education, uh, educationally, everywhere he is suppressed. Though he is trying to get of what? Mercy from these people, but he doesn't allow. As a result, we have seen that his face is turning that. Next one, this is actually uh, the uh, map, map of the uh, colonialism, I mean uh, the countries, these countries were under uh, the red countries, but then ruled by British. Britain, Britain, okay? And the red countries, the colors countries are now the member of what? Commonwealth. And we have seen that this is Australia, this is of what? India, uh, Pakistan, and this is of what? Bangladesh, and this is? Myanmar. These are the rules by Britain, okay? And this is also the same picture. So, effect of colonialism, we should know. As what mentioned, post-colonialism asks the readers to enter the text through the post-colonial lens, post-colonial lens. Whenever you try to, you try to 
find out the effect of colonialism you must set up of your post colonial lens otherwise you cannot understand what colonialism is and how they have what suppressed us frequently you have seen that if we uh, uh, read the british history we have seen that british comes here and we become of what we become civilized we become civilized they what made us educated cultural and they think to use our reasons and what faculty but it is their words what is our words to find out it we need what to set up the post colonial lens the chart uh, will help you uh, just after the slide there is a chart it will also help you see how to approach a post colonial reading of a text as a reader you would look for the effect of colonialism and how they are addressed through the plot setting and characters action so what what the actually uh, lens the lens helps you to find out the plot of the text the setting of the text at the same time characters action why this is important as you have read uh, passes to india heart of darkness these two texts are written by whom written by two english people one is Ian Foster, and other is James Joyce. No, Philip Monroe. No, Heart of Darkness. Joseph Conrad. Joseph Conrad. Yes, these two people. In Heart of Darkness, you have seen that. What is the plot? He tries to show that the white people visit or go go there for what reason to make the people civilized as the congos or the heart of the african people were completely uncivilized they are of what they try to they used to have their what human flesh they cannot wear the dress they have no language they have no culture similarly we have seen the same thing is written is given in abyss stone india okay in abyss to india in which way you have seen that the british people ruled us and they tried to educate us and they say that we are the uneducated we are the uncivilized as a result no indian is allowed to mix up with any english people even the dialogue on ronnie his love we have seen that is of what india is not our drawing room India is not our drawing room. In that time, you have set up a post-colonial lens in which way, at the last scene of the novel, we have seen that Dr. Aziz, he mentions that whenever uh, Fielding, Mr. Fielding, the principal, once upon they were the close friend, uh, later on somehow it has been broken down. And at the last scene, whenever they mix up, when Mr. Fielding says that, Every incident, bad incident already overcome, so we can be a friend. In that time, Dr. Aziz says, yes, we must, we can be friend again if British leaves our country. What does it mean that? It means of what? Whenever you will be there, you will try to again and again suppress us, and we will be slave, you will be the master, so in that time, master and slave cannot be done friend better you can leave us so that's why the uh, critics mentioned that whenever you have set the post-colonial lens you should try to what find out or analyze three things one is what plot another is setting and third one is characters action each and every characters action is very important so the child you see that word of what us and other k other and mentality Edward W. Said, which name I have already mentioned in the last class today I will also pronounce to some extent his name Edward Said first identified that the British, the western people not only the British, all the western people try to make two groups one is what? us, another is other who are the us? the western people are the us and the other people or the rest of the people called other other whenever you say that us what does it indicate that very close very intimate one very what 
hurtful bosom. But other means of what? A distance, long distance. So that mentality we have seen to the world. And another important thing is that frequently the Western people say it's a time of globalization. It's a time of what? Universal friendship. But it's absolutely fake. They never accept you. They always try to treat you as other. Okay? Next one. What? Hmm? Dehumanization of colonized. Dehumanization. Remember, passes to India. Dr. Aziz, whenever he is in a meeting, without noticing him, without asking him to let him, takes his what? Tongue. And they leave. And he what? Comes back on foot. But do you think that if a Dr. Aziz does, he would be admitted, admired? No. Rather, he would be punished. As a, as a result, everywhere, and even you have seen that in the breeze party. What's happened? In the breeze party, we have seen that Indians, there is a tag. Indians and the English people or Anglo English people etc etc so there's something else there. So what does it mean that we are what humiliated there? Okay. Then of what uh, then this distorted world view nation value shifts. It is the concept of the nationalism according to the Western people, Western critics. Very shrewd way, very cunning way, they try to present it. Valuations. What does it mean? All of you believe it now in my class also. Sir, Western people means of what? They are so much independent. They have so much valued. They have, they have the so much what? Cooperative. They can never tell any of what? Uh, they can never uh, involve themselves in such a crime. If I ask you the same question, for example. What about the activities of Western countries, about the third world countries? You have seen that they try to inhumanly, brutally try to kill us without any kinds of reason. It happens everywhere. Even, or so what? They are involved number of crimes. Rape is available in USA, Australia, Canada, or somewhere else. The ratio is for more than us, but such a way, such words they have set up in our mind that is called hegemonic terms. Hegemony, we are hegemonized. As a result, our national value has been shifted. And frequently we mention that, sir, they are civilized. So, what does it mean that? Do we think that we are uncivilized? No. The difference is where? Cultural difference. Their culture, our taste, our norms, our values, our desires are not the same. As a result, our activities, our way of presentation must be different. Must be different. Two, ensure the value. You can recall the activities of Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi. Whenever he goes to England, he wears his dhoti. He never wears a what? Tarkoot, etc. long. Whenever he goes there, he never what? Tries to use a word, frog or a spoon to have his meal. He uses his own hands. Why? This is their own culture. It means of what? Whenever we go to a Chinese restaurant somewhere else, it means of what? We try to use, we try to forget our own culture. Why? Because the Western people, the colonized people, shifts our values. So, it is one of the major factors in colonized countries. Loss of identity. As a result, frequently you have mentioned that the Bengali Hoche Shankar. What does it mean? But is there any country have you found who is not grown up because of the mixture? Everyone is mixture nation. America. Their history tells that they were pirates. Do you know the meaning of pirates? Yes, sir. Pirate. They were called the pirates. 
they got independent in 1776 but before that we were independent we have the culture and if you go through a part in your own history you will see that you have the own education system own values India discovered the word India discovered the astrology India discovered the word mathematics especially the values of 0, 1 etc the uh, Arab discovered a what? They were the founder of chemistry, medical science, and education system. But as they mentioned that of what? Loss of our identity. Wherever we are colonized, they have destroyed all our identity and we are feeling a crisis. As a result, what happens? We are trying to use a fair and lovely. We are trying to use what? Some jail. This is our crisis of identity. We don't know. What are color doesn't matter. Okay? Why it has been imported? Because of the colonialism. Hmm? Uh, it, then another one is what? Challenges to faith, language and politics. Colonialism challenges our faith. Our what? Language politics. One thing remember that. Before 1757, when Mughals ruled the country in undivided India. The Hindus and the Muslims lived what harmoniously. They have the harmonious relationship. Never we have seen that any communal rights. They did everything hand in hand. But when the British came here and they applied a policy, the policy in its name is divide and rule. Divide and rule. As a result, we have seen that. Hindus and Muslims are completely divided. Still now we have seen that they cannot come. What? In under a single shape. You have seen that one of the symptoms is given in a passage to India as well. Okay? So that is what? Challenges of our faith, language even. Before the British colony in Africa or you can say in British, what's happened? We had our own language. We have tried to forget it. We have tried to forget it. We try to what? Learn the Western language, English language. Because of what? Because the challenge is our own language. And they try to establish their own language and we accepted this one. <coughs> so as a result, <coughs> in uh, Tempest, whenever Caliban, whenever Caliban was asked after 12 years that I have tried to teach you. English. Why haven't you learned a single word? He answered that yes, I have learned those languages. How to curse you only? What does it mean that? I have no interest to learn your own language. Because I have the language, I have the values, I have the identity. Why I should learn your language? You can think about yourself. I should not. But we have forgotten whenever they have challenged. Okay? This is the impact of the colonialism. Next of what? Person. In case of person, we have seen that another problem is there. Dehumanization of self. Even we are trying to dehumanize. As a nation, we dehumanize ourselves. Even we are also. In our society, you have seen that. Whether you can write a single word or single sentence correctly in English or not. If anyone knows that you are distressed of English, what does it mean that? Your social values has been upgraded. What does it mean that? You are dehumanization, dehumanizing yourself. We are degrading ourselves. That is our problem. That is the impact of colonialism. Another is of what? Inability to support, protect self or family. We have forgotten how to protect ourselves. An example we can give. We can show here. For example, Bangladesh or India or Myanmar, whenever they have faced any problem, what do we try? We try to urge the Western country to help them. What does it mean that we have forgotten to serve ourselves? But before the colonization, what's happened in India? What's happened in Russia? Sorry, uh, in Africa or uh, West Indies or some other countries? They were able to protect themselves. Okay, so that is one of the impact. And another one is of what? Self-doubt. Self-doubt means of what? We have to confident ourselves. We have no confident ourselves. 
what the fuck for multinational company, foreign companies, foreign countries tells we're doing. As a result, what's happened? The fair and lovely advertises that if you what use this fair and lovely seven days or seven weeks, you can be a hostess. What is the one I have seen uh, and that is a mona do you kiss a Why? Mona is black. So mona should be what? Use some things else. It means of what? You doubt that if my black skin is black, whether I can be accepted in the job or not, sometimes we are thinking that way. We think that way. So these are the impact of what? Colonialism. So anyone uh, any question please? Yes, you have. If you have any question, you can ask me, please. Uh, actually, I believe that uh, I, can, I can say that the Western people they are not civilized. Actually, if you if you see or if you uh, want to know that about their history, they are they are pioneers, but they always express us as a uh, uncivilized one, brutal one. So why? So, but most of the people in our society or in our country or uh, in the underdeveloped country, they are tries to following the following their culture. So why why sir? Why I have already mentioned through the church. Okay, I have explained each and everything. Because they have destroyed our roots. So they have sir, destroyed our software. So first, first of all we have to we have to set up our mind. We, have, we have to, to set up in which way that's why at the very first uh, time I have mentioned that whenever you want to try uh, you try to identify your or establish your own identity in that time you need a post-colonial lens you need a post-colonial lens i mean so what you have mentioned that i mean so what i need a mental setup in which way i try to my identity okay anyone any question please you can contribute please if you have any confusion or if you want to add something else here you can uh, you can and you're most welcome I'm not mentally 